today's video, I'm going to show you how to reduce ping or lag in Minecraft Pocket Edition servers for MCPE 1.17.10. Without further ado, let's get started in today's awesome video. I'd like to make a quick disclaimer that these are just some general tips on how to reduce ping or lag. Um, they're not all guaranteed to work for you because obviously everybody's situation is different and what may work for you may not work for another person. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, the first major tip that I have for you guys in order to reduce ping in servers, for example, the hive is to make sure to turn off any updates that might be running in the background. These are most likely the cause of high pings as they will download without you realizing, taking up your internet bandwidth. So make sure that your device is solely focused on the game you are playing, which of course is Minecraft. The next major tip I have for you guys is to close any background apps you have on your device, whether that be on computer or on your phone. So as you can tell, I'm here on my phone right now and if I actually go like this, you'll notice that Minecraft is the only thing that I have um, you know, on and it just disconnected me from the server which is a little bit frustrating but as you can tell i have like literally the only thing i have open is minecraft and that should reduce some lag in servers as well and that's honestly really useful obviously you're going to be using a wi-fi connection so the first thing you need to try is to reset your router so if you're lagging really really badly then try resetting your router because that might you know fix some of the issues over there which is pretty easy to do so just um you know unplug it and then plug it back in just reset that router completely next try moving the router around and hope that your game device will capture it better so you can actually move around your router so it's closer to you in case you want to actually reduce a little bit of lag this is more like a hit or miss but it definitely can work in some situations so yeah if you can try moving your router next up you want to limit the amount of devices connected to a single wi-fi connection so um if you're in a house you probably only have like one internet connection make sure that there's not that many devices connected to your internet network all at once so you don't want to have like 20 devices connected to one internet connection so if you're not using any device then uh, make sure to turn off wi-fi on it because it should help you out and it will make your internet go faster so just make sure to do that make sure you only have like a couple devices connected to the internet um so if you're not using a device then make sure to turn off its internet which i know is a little bit annoying and kind of a hassle to do but if you want to reduce lag then that is a very effective way to do so because obviously um the more devices you have the more uh, bandwidth it's going to take up and it's just going to be really bad uh basically for your game now the next thing you can do in order to reduce a little bit of lag has to do with your game settings. Now you guys probably already know this because I've gone over it so many times on this YouTube channel. But if you're new here, I'm just going to quickly show you really um, quickly. Make sure you turn off fancy graphics and turn off beautiful skies and smooth lighting and all that good stuff over here. And uh, make sure you turn down your render distance as well. And I know it may suck that we are going to get lower graphics, but honestly, we have to make some sacrifices if we want to, you know, reduce lag in servers as well. So yeah, definitely try doing that as well, you know, if you are playing on servers as well. Next up, you want to double check that you have the right IP to the server on, you know, whichever server you are joining, which I know it may seem kind of obvious, but sometimes it's the simple things that really get in your way so just make sure you're not making a silly mistake and make sure that you're typing in all ip addresses and ports correctly i have a bunch of videos on my channel showcasing some amazing servers so you can feel free to watch those over there this is more like a last resort but because like it requires you to actually buy something like buy a cable but you most likely probably already have it in your house but if you don't then you probably have to buy it and that is a ethernet cable and basically a ethernet cable allows you to get direct access to the internet without any type of interference so you basically have to buy a full-on cable and i will leave a link to one uh a amazon link in the description down below and no i'm not sponsored by them or anything like twisted i'm not sponsored by them or anything i'm just saying it because i think it's a good product so yeah if you're having some internet connections then definitely try using a ethernet cable it could definitely help you out in the long run so definitely try investing in your internet connection because obviously if you you know if you're like me and you want to play minecraft servers you know 24 7 then you're gonna need some good internet at the end of the day it really depends on your internet connection like whichever router you have and you know how good your wi-fi is so it really is up to you guys and i understand that not everyone can control it because obviously you know a lot of us you know we're on the younger side we don't have jobs yet another thing that you want to keep track of is make sure you are in the right server region so a lot of servers have these things called regions for example the hive i know there's a an a region there's an asia region and i believe there is 
I'm not so sure if there's any other ones, but all I know is that this server in particular does have some regions over here, and it's important for you to actually select which region you are in. So look, I'm gonna go to the hub right now. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys because I figured it would be much more easier. So you gotta go to hub over here, and here we have a region selector. So look. We have Asia and we have Europe. So make sure you guys pick the region that corresponds with where you're living. So obviously I live in America, so I have an A over here. And um, you know, my game is running pretty smoothly, but if I were to go to like Asia or something, then I may experience a bit more lag because obviously I'm not from Asia. And that means that, you know, my device would have to connect all the way there from a to Asia servers. And that just may cause a lot of unnecessary, you know, lag and all that. So an easy way to prevent lag is to just pick the right region. So. Yeah, another thing that you may lo have to look out for is the server itself. So uh, I know there's a lot of servers out there. You won't really experience this issue with the Hive because the Hive is a pretty big server and it is very big budget. But there is some lower budget servers that, you know, may not have the best connection. So sometimes it might not even be you. It might be the server you're actually playing on. Like if you're playing on a smaller server, then you may experience a little bit of lag because obviously some servers, they don't have the best internet and, you know, their hosting is not so great. So if you experience a bit of lag, it could be because of the server and there's really not much solutions that you can do in order to actually you know fix up the lag apart from just doing the other things like you know make sure minecraft is the only thing you have on turning off all your other devices and all that so it really is a hit or miss but that is another reason that can cause lag is poor hosting on the server itself because it might not even be your fault it might not even be your fault so just make sure to keep that in mind but once again if you're playing servers like the hive then you're probably never going to experience that kind of issues or maybe you might but definitely not as much as like you know like a smaller scale server or anything like that so yeah also you want to make sure that whichever server you have fits the amount of players so there's some servers that can only hold up to 100 players so if there's like 200 players there yeah basically expect lag expect lag so just make sure that you are on the lookout for that as well for example if the hive had like 200,000 players at once it would be incredibly laggy we would all lag and it would be a nightmare so yeah just make sure you check the little player count over there and make sure that you know it is reasonable obviously you don't want to have like a like a hundred players in a 10 people server you know what i mean so definitely listen to those server recommendations they will help you a bit and that's the whole point of them so there's not too many players that it will just completely lag your server experience you know and completely ruin it so um, yeah, there really is a lot of factors that does go into, you know, basically what causes servers to lag and all that. But hopefully these solutions were helpful to you and I practice them on a daily basis. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If this video was helpful, consider subscribing as it'd be greatly appreciated and you can always change your mind later on in the future. So once again, if you'd like to purchase a Ethernet cable for yourself, the link can be found in the description down below. Not sponsored or anything, just, just like an actual genuine suggestion. But please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, friends french fries.